wait a couple minutes uh, so people trickle in. Um, for everybody that's here now, you will need a book bag with some books or something in it. If you have dumbbells, by all means use those. Uh, if you don't, that's okay. We have modifications for it. Um, just as we're getting started here, uh, my name is Brandon Lundheim. I am a FSI out of CFB Shearwater. And today we are going to be doing a upper body and cardio workout. Um, so we're going to merge the two. We're going to do a little conditioning piece at the beginning to get that cardiovascular response. And then we're going to do some accessories su or supplement work after that. So we can get that. Um, but before we do that, I am going to read our verbal disclaimer. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms of virtual fitness classes tailored to the Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the activity or get active questionnaire of the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology and its reference document. Those are in the links below. Um, if you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult your healthcare provider. If a calf manager, if a calf member sustains an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF98. I will have enough um, progressions and regressions for you guys so that that shouldn't happen. But like I said, we'll go another minute or two here. You will need a backpack today, filled with books, um, whatever is heavy and relatively flat. If you have dumbbells, by all means, use those. Um, I'll explain why. So we'll go another 45 seconds here, let people trickle in. Go ahead and play some music in the background if you'd like. Um, it definitely helps motivate everybody. I am not, so that way you guys can actually hear me. And if you like this workout, please share it using the hashtags in the description. So, stop that there. So, we're gonna get into our warm up. We're gonna do a regular. Uh, dynamic warm up for the beginning. So we're going to get into your thoracic spine first, so your upper mid back. So we're going to do world's greatest stretch. So you're going to come down and do a long lunge position. Push that hip forward. Whatever leg is forward, you're going to bring that hand behind your head. You're going to tuck down, rotate up, and we're going to do this 10 times. Nice and slow. Try to reach through each time. Halfway. Happy Mother's Day as well, all the mothers out there. Once you are finished, you're just going to go back into that quadruped position and then switch sides. Down and up. Nice and controlled. Next one we're going to do inchworm, but we're going to go in a push-up this time. So you're going to start, I'm going to start the edge of my mat, start standing, crawl your hands out, push up, crawl your hands back, go up standing. That's one, we're going to do five, okay? So once again, crawl out, push up, and back in. Three more. We'll see a push-up variant when we get to our supplementary pieces at the end. Last one here. Good job. So now we're just going to get into some iron circles, starting nice and slow, going forward, gradually getting bigger as we go through. And 
and starting to go as big as we can. Then we're going to start rotating back to smaller circles. Then come to a complete stop and then rotate back. Same idea, just gradually getting bigger till we get all the way up. And then start creating smaller circles. Till we come to a complete stop again here in a few seconds. Stop, and then we're just gonna start doing swivers. So we're gonna start here, just trying to warm up the shoulders a little bit. After this, we're gonna warm up our core, and then we're gonna explain the main piece of our workout. From here, we're gonna start going up and down. Get into the lats a tiny bit. And then we're gonna start going opposite arms. So one up, one down. Couple more seconds. And relax. So the next one, we're just gonna warm up our core a little bit. So we're gonna start off with a plank variation. So we're gonna start off with a regular forearm plank. We're gonna do 10 seconds there, rotate into a side plank. 10 seconds, rotate in the other side, 10 seconds, and we're gonna do that twice, okay? So, we're gonna get it into our plank position. We're gonna start in three, two, one. 10 seconds here. Nice stable position. Rotate the side plank. Try to keep that nice and straight here. Try to pull your elbow towards your hip. Create that tension we're looking for. Rotate to the other side. Back to the forearm. That's one. We're going to go through that again. Rotate to your side plank. Take the other side for the last one. And relax. Grab a drink of water. We're going to explain our main movement. So once again, you're going to need a backpack with some weight in it, preferably something flat. Um, if you have uh, dumbbells, you can use those as well, preferably hex dumbbells if you have them, but any dumbbell should work. So the first part of this is where we're going to try to get that cardiovascular response. So we're going to do three movements, loaded march, a devil's press, and a backpack swing. So the first one, you're going to take the backpack, you're going to hold it, you're going to squeeze it into your body, and then we're just going to march. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest to transition. After that, we're going to go into our devil's press. It's kind of like a burpee, but it's way worse, okay? So you're gonna grab your backpack. Also, show some variations after this if you don't have one. So you're gonna go up overhead to the floor, down into a push-up, and back up into a press, okay? If we don't have a backpack, do regular burpees. If you can't do burpees, just do a down-up, so into a high plank. If you can't do that, do push-ups. If you can't do that, do a standing press. If you can't do that, phone your position. Because we got a couple issues that we're gonna have to work out. So, after that, we're gonna grab the straps of our backpack for our backpack swings. We're gonna go nice and wide with our feet, toes pointed out. Swing between the legs and up. Just like a kettlebell swing, just this time, we're using our book bags. Try to keep tension on it the whole time, so create enough power so it doesn't get slack and drop, okay? So those are our three movements. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. Each, and we're going three rounds. So three sets of each, 
Total roll of about nine minutes. So go ahead and set yourselves up now. First one we got is our loaded march. So we're going to start that in five seconds. So grab your bag, squeeze it against your chest, and begin. So just marching on the squat. Really try to squeeze that pack into your chest. Try to keep those shoulder blades down. Turn that music up. You're probably going to be breathing heavy by mid round two. Halfway there. Halfway there. Once it's done, we got 15 seconds to transition. Remember to squeeze. If you want to make it harder, make a fist. That way you have nothing to grip on. Makes it a little bit harder to keep up. And relax. And the next one is the devil's press. If you're using a backpack, my suggestion is put the straps away from you because they will try to whip you in the face. Three seconds. And stop. If you don't have a backpack, do a regular burpee. Pace yourselves because these catch up quickly. There. Just when you thought burpees were the worst thing you could find, we got this. Ten seconds. Almost there, guys. Fifteen seconds rest. Next one is our backpack swings. Almost through our first round. If you have dumbbells, just use your double dumbbells and come up. And we start. Try to keep tension. Nice neutral spine. Keep that core activated. And make sure you breathe. Breathing is going to be the key here. So all these are going to get your heart rate high, get that cardiovascular response a little before, before we get in to our supplementary movements for the upper body. Almost there. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And rest. Next one's our loaded march. For round two, one down, two to go. Five seconds. Once again, you want to make it harder. Squeeze those fists. Here we go. If you find it really hard to hold on to it, you can wear it. But ultimately, we want to try to keep this bag gripped into us the best we can. If you have a 20 pound vest, throw that on or a weight vest at all. Halfway there. You can always make it harder. If you find it really hard to hold on to this, just drop the pack, walk on the spot. 10 seconds. Almost there. Good job, guys. Next one's our devil's presses. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you're breathing through these ones. Right there, guys. 
Three seconds. Good job. Swings are up next. And we got a third and final. Three seconds. Two, one, start. Challenge yourself, try to get as many reps as you can for each one. Get that heart rate nice and high. Halfway there. Explode through the legs. Your arms should just be falling along. Almost there, five seconds. Stop. 15 seconds of our last round. Starting off with our march. We have five seconds. And here we go. Last set of marches. For this anyways, we got one left after. You're sticking the mat pretty well. Try to drive those knees up. Halfway there. Get the most out of your step. If you want to make it harder and you have stairs in your house, use that. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Good job, guys. Almost there. Stuck. Next one's our devil's presses, then we'll get a little bit of a drink. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and steady for these. Those straps, tie them together if you need to. Ten seconds. Almost there. One more set of hip swings. Kettlebell swings, backpack swings, whatever you want to do. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Nice and steady. Really explode through the legs. Last thing for this round. Halfway there. Should I drive that bag away from you? Towards that wall. Almost there. And time. Good job, everybody. We're going to take about 90 seconds of rest. Before we get into our upper body supplement, keep that backpack close. It's not the last time you'll be seeing it. Grab a drink if you have one. If not, go grab one. Just don't sit down, keep moving. Devil's press is suck way more than I remember doing. Do 30 seconds. So the next one, while we're waiting here, I'm going to explain. We're going to go through four supplementary movements just to get all those little muscles um, more activated, especially since we're probably sitting a little bit more. Our posture is probably around forward. We're going to try to combat that a little bit. So we're going to do a row with a four second squeeze, 
We're gonna use that bag, or if you have a kettlebell, something heavier, dumbbells, use that. We're gonna do a tempo push up. We're gonna do a rear delt squeeze, and then we're gonna do a high pull squeeze. So those ones are just holding for 30 seconds, okay? 10 seconds, we'll walk through the first one nice and slow. So you're gonna grab your pack, lie it down. So we're gonna start our first set. So we're gonna do eight reps. Whole idea here is create as much tension on that pole as you possibly can. So you're gonna grab your pack, ankle off here so you can see. You're gonna hinge forward, you're gonna pedal those elbows up and back, and you're gonna squeeze as hard as you can for four seconds. So four. Slowly lower, that's one. Up, squeeze, three, four, down. We're doing eight of these. Up, one, two, three, four. Try to keep those shoulder blades down the whole time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Almost there. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do one more. One, two, three, four. So we're just gonna set that aside for now, and we're gonna do a tempo push-up. So tempo push-ups, regular push-ups, but we're gonna go three seconds on the descent. Okay? So you're gonna be here. One, two, three. So that's our movement. We're gonna do eight of them as well. We'll count that as the first one. So we're gonna go up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Almost there. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, one more, one, two, three, up, perfect, so the next one, we're going to use your rear delts, so, angle this off, you're going to lie down flat on your stomach, arms out like you're making a goal pose, and then you're going to lift your arms up and squeeze as hard as you can for 30 seconds, okay, so we're going to get into that position now, we're going to start, in three, two, one, go. So hands up, squeezing as hard as you possibly can. Keep those elbows right in line with your shoulders. That's halfway. Keep breathing, keep squeezing as hard as you can. Done. Last one here for this round. You're going to grab your pack. Okay? We got two more rounds after this. So you're going to grab your pack. You're going to bring your arms up in a V and you're going to hold it here. Okay? 30 second hold. Try to get that point towards your hands. Create that V. And we're going to start that in three, two, one. Go. Step back so I can see my stopwatch. Keep those arms nice and close. Folding up nice and high. If you're to your shoulders, you can drop down a little bit to where you're comfortable. Whew. 10 seconds. First round usually doesn't feel terrible. Third round feels a little bit different. Three. Two, one, relax. From there, we're gonna go right back to the top, okay? So we're gonna go back to our rows. So grab your pack, eight reps, hinge forward, up, one, two, three, four, down. Up, one, two, three, four. Big squeeze at the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Halfway. 
One, two, three, four. Almost there. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Keep it up. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Down. Flex for a couple seconds before we go to our push ups. So we're going to start in that push up position. Eight reps, three seconds on the way down. So up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, halfway, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, two more. One, two, three, up. Last one. One, two, three, up. Good job, guys. Next one is our rear delt hold. Come down in that line position. Elbows beside your shoulders. We're going up in three, two, one, up. Remember, trying to create as much tension as you can in that upper back. And breathe, 10 seconds in. Ten seconds left. And relax. Transitioning to standing, wrapping our pack, starting our holds. Three, two, one, up. We got one more round after this. Nice and steady. Try to pull those arms up towards the walls. 10 seconds. And relax. One more round, guys. Take a sec. Wipe the sweat. We're going back to our rows. We're going to pick up our bags. Hinge forward. Pull up. One, two, three, four. Down. Up. One, two, three, four. Down. Up. One, two, three, four. Up, one, two, three, four. Good job, guys, almost there. One, two, three, four. Create as much tension as you can. One, two, three, four. Two to go. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Good. Tempo push-ups, last round, going up in that starting position, we're going to start, so three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, halfway, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, two to go, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up. Good job guys, almost there. Lying down, rear delt squeeze, starting in three, two, one, and up. Nice big squeeze here. Keep those arms up as you can, halfway. Almost there. And relax. One more. 
We got our ISO holds. Shot your nose in three, two, one, up. Last round of this, guys. Good job. Almost there. Fifteen seconds left. Five. And relax. There we go. 90 seconds rest before we do our last thing. Gonna need that kit bag nice and close. Grab a drink if you got one. Shoulders are shaped. We'll set our time right here. That's not going to work. Here we go. So, the next one, we're going to go three minutes. I'll give you the choice. You can either do that loaded march we did at the beginning, or you can do the backpack of kettlebell swings we did at the end. We're not going to make you do the devil's presses for three minutes because that's just rude. So, pick your poison, 30 seconds left, um, I know I'm going to do the swings myself, last piece of cardio here before we get into our stretch, so as many reps as possible in that 3 minute time, pace yourself, rest as needed, use your own discretion throughout. I'm going to get a 10 second count here. So, set up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Hi, Trina. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Three minutes. Loaded march or backpack swings. Pace yourself as you go through. Three minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but you'll think differently at the end. That is 30 seconds in. Make sure you're breathing. Take breaks as needed to readjust your hands, wipe the sweat, whichever. Try to spend as much time doing the movement as possible. Really get that heart rate going. One minute down, two to go. Job, everybody. Great way to spend your Sunday. Even though every day kind of feels like the weekend, you might be sweating out your Saturday festivities, that's fine. Make sure you drink lots of water. Possibly nap later. Halfway there. Halfway, guys. Good job. Keep moving. One minute to go. Keep moving. One minute. Keep breathing. Keep that heart rate up. Almost there. This is our last thing. Before we stretch. seconds. Job everybody. Almost there. Push through. Ten 
10 seconds. Good job, everybody. Take a few seconds here, catch your breath. Grab that drink of water before we stretch. I know I'm switched over the window. Whew. So we'll go 30 more seconds. Bring that heart rate down, keep breathing, keep moving around. Then we're going to start our cool down. Whew. Definitely going to need a nap later. Alrighty, so first one here. Just going to do a classic shoulder stretch. Elbow bent, squeeze that shoulder in. Should feel this on the back of your shoulder. The reason we have the elbow bent because our tricep connects into the shoulder. Tricep is used to straighten the arm, so if our arm is straight, it's turned on. So if our elbow is bent, we get a little bit deeper of a stretch. A few more seconds. Switch arms. Squeeze that in. This. Hopefully the wind will cool me off. Good. Next one here. Just going to do a forward bend. So feet underneath your hips. Whenever you're ready, you're just going to drive those hips back. Let yourself hang. Let that head hang. Kind of relax. You can bend the elbows if you want. Use that weight to get you a little bit deeper. We're going to bring our hands to the floor and we're going to come down. So we're going to get into the shoulder and modified stretch here. So you're going to lie down. One arm is going to be straight out. You're going to bring one knee up to the ready position and then you're just going to rotate up, keeping that shoulder on the ground. Just feel a nice little stretch, front side of the chest. If you don't feel it, go ahead, play around with where that arm is located. Throughout. We're just going to relax here. A few more seconds. Slowly come back down to flat. Switch sides. Nice deep stretch here. Take some time to stretch later on today. Definitely tomorrow morning. So we're probably not stretching as much as we should. Tomorrow's a new week, so try to make that a habit. Almost there. And relax. Next one, we're just gonna fold in child's pose. So legs nice and wide, hands underneath your shoulders. You're just going to sit back onto your heels and relax here. You can let your head rest if you like. It's up to you. If you have an elevated surface to put your hands up on, you can do that as well. Sink a little bit deeper between the shoulders. A few more seconds here. Each breath, try to relax a little bit more. And then come up. Next one, I'm going to get into that shoulder taps a little bit. So we're going to be prisoners. So we're going to go hands right behind the hip. So right here, keep that shoulder blade down. You're going to grab your elbow, your shirt, wherever you can grab. Keep that shoulder blade down and pull it forward. Actually, this is called reverse sleeper. Stretch, not prisoner. I'm just going to hang out here. Keep 
breathe, keep that shoulder down. You're just going to the point of discomfort. You don't want to wrench your shoulder. Few more seconds. Slowly let go. Shake out the arm. Switch sides. Again. Hand right behind the hip. Keep that shoulder blade down. Pull that elbow forward. After this, we're going to get your wrists. And then we'll call it a day. Once again, if you like today's live stream, go ahead and use the hashtags in the description. Like it, share it. The more people we have doing these workouts, the better we'll be in the end. And relax. So the next one coming up, palms facing down, fingers facing back. We're going to sit back in our heels. Try to keep those palms on the floor best you can. Once again, go to that point of discomfort, wherever that is for you. My wrists are pretty mobile going this way. So that's why my arms kind of look weird because both my elbows can hyperextend slightly. Few more seconds. Slowly come up and rotate over. Whenever you're ready, fingers pointing back, palms facing up, and come down. If you like these workouts and want something a little bit more personal, we do offer one-on-one uh, -on -one training through True Coach for Canadian Armed Forces members. If you'd like to be a part of that, go ahead and email Isaac Habib. His Facebook is in the comments. I can see his comment there. Message him, send you an email, and then you can get loaded up on an instructor of your choice. That way you can keep that fitness going a little bit more. A few more seconds. And relax. There we go, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please list them in the comments below. I'll be looking through them the next little while once I log back into my personal account. So I'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Once again, thank you guys for coming. Uh, grab a nap, grab a shower, and we'll see you guys next time.